Uh, hello guys so a uh, welcome you all to my channel and you all know what is the channel name vivek pandey yeah uh, so guys now uh i'm starting i'm going to start a problem solving problem solving so first we are going to solve a problem like a statement will be given like what is input and what is output so what are the requirements uh, what 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 are the things you should know uh, things you should know to solve the problem solve the problem okay now let's see what are the things you you should know or i can say the basic things first one is it is all about core java only this is all about core java if you have a knowledge about core java then you can uh, we can solve solve it by applying logics logic okay logic fine now what are the concepts we wanted is uh, first one you should be good with the conditional statements statements like uh, if uh, uh, all this like in this we have four categories right so all those uh, if conditions second one is iterations loop you should know all the loops how they are working principles and then third one is array arrays and here it is like a loops and also nested loops nested loops and uh, even in this you should know few things like break continue so if you know all this now that is very much enough okay so arrays methods hold on method these are important guys okay so now uh, we are going to deal it in java only so as i have uh, i posted uh, like uh, one post on that post i saw that uh, java many people many are interested in solving the problem in java so we are going to solve the problems in java as of now but it doesn't mean that i'm not going to work on python so java as currently we are going to discuss problems so mostly like uh, we'll discuss many problems many many problems in java okay so now currently we are working on arrays let's do some problems on arrays guys okay so now here first problem i'm just writing here the first one first question is write a program to print duplicates values duplicate values in a given array so if there is any duplicate value it has to print those values now for example the input input is one array for example here i am just taking one array here uh, 2 4 7 uh, 2 2 5 6 and then here again uh, we have 7 this is the input and what is the output we are expecting is output is what are the elements which are repeating or which are duplicate 2 yes 2 is two times here and 7 uh, is also repeated so what are the elements what will be the output here 2 and 7 uh, because 2 and 7 are only repeated right remaining other things are not repeated so this is very basic question let's start with the basic question and then we'll increase our levels okay so now here to solve this problem what we are going to do now so let's see step by step first i wanted to explain you the mechanism let's understand let's solve this problem step by step okay first one to solve this problem first step step 1 understanding the algorithm like how it is going to be 
yes so mechanism mechanism or we can say that process process once we understand the process or uh, second one is in this only we can have the logic also logic building and then step two is implementation implementation okay so now let's see the process or logic how we are going to apply on it what are the logic can be okay logic process and logic and then once we understood how okay we can solve it in this way then we are going to implement in the uh yeah eclipse editor so i guess you understood write a program to print a duplicate elements uh duplicate values in a given array and this is what the input and like this the output should be okay so if there is a no duplicate it has to print nothing okay that's it so let's start so what i will do is uh, let i will just go with this mm -hmm. and uh, see i'm just taking here one box mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Now, I just wanted to divide this in a cells. It will be easy like to understand. We can do better. This. So what I have taken is this is a container. This is my array. So array has what indexes and usually the array index is starting with what zero fine here we have we have divided we have made this boxes here now now i need to insert the numbers mm. yeah here it is okay now let's i'm just increasing the font here 48 mm three it has not got increased wait three and then i'm selecting it Okay, I got it three. Now let's see here. I'm just giving here two. Here it is one. Here it is four. Here it is five. And here it is again two. Here it is three. Here it is uh, four. Uh, four it is. And then here it is seven. And here it is nine. Okay. Fine. Finally, we got our elements. In this array now now one more thing i need to do is i need to just uh, to explain you all we need to give the indexes also so let's see what are the indexes we have here it is zero this is first index this is second index third fourth uh, fifth and then sixth this is seven this is eight and this is nine so it means what total nine indexes we got so what is the meaning of this the meaning is the length what can be the length of it yeah i'm just yeah it is very closer by okay now this is the indexing with the help of indexing i can understand where i i need to move traverse now i got this indexes and then i need to just check what is the size like what is the length of this okay so now uh, length means total number of elements like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so total length is ten okay total length is ten it is so the length is ten it is ten
so now this is my array and i have uh, inserted the elements also now i have done all this now let's see uh, how we are going to use uh, to compare so just i'm just taking this this total portion somewhere down here so now this is my array and we can keep any name for this like uh, let me denote it with uh, some character uh, like i'm just taking here a i'm giving a size a okay so what is this what is the name of my array the name of the array is a that's it fine now what i wanted to do is uh, i need to check one from first one from first index so what is my first index zero i'm keeping an arrow here first index and let me also fill a color it's a black fine and then this one for that i need this okay yes so now this is a pointer which is pointing from an index 0 so the a of 0 is equal to what 3 a of 1 is 2 this is what basic things i know i guess you know this all now one more thing is uh, just i wanted to compare this with what this 3 is going to compare with the next element what is the next element 2 and what is the index of the 2 it is 1 okay again 3 is checking whether this 3 and 2 both are same or not if both are same then we are printing so now what i need to do is i need to take one more pointer here let's take i'm, I'm taking one more pointer this and then i'm just pointing to this part because comparison i need to do the comparison right okay now this part I'm just going to fill uh, with some different color with a green color. Okay. Now that's it. Yeah. Now what is happening is this one. Just try to just uh, see here. This part is going to traverse like this. Uh, three again here. Two, one, four, five. Like this it will go on. Keep on going throughout this. So for this traversal we need one loop right. So one loop is for that and another loop is for the internal checking whether it is same or not. So A of, I'm just taking it is, this is as I, this is as J. I is my red one and J is my green one. So this, it is going to compare both of them. So now here, for example, it will just check three and two, both are same, both are not same. So again, what happens here is see internally yes three and two both are not same fine it will go again three three is already there three and one it will check both are same not same again three and four both are same not same again three and five both are same not same three and two both are same not same three and three both are same exactly both are same so whenever i got this three i no need to go again back okay so no need of going again all this i have to break my loop here itself because i found the duplicate element right so once i am done with this once i found my this uh, with the help of this inner loop i found what i found the duplicate element now what i need to do i need to change the positions right so what i need to do i need to shift the positions of this i and j so now my i will be what pointing to this second one and j have to also start from initial so from where it has to start always it has to start with the next number so what is this next here it is yeah earlier it was i is pointing here this red one is pointing to the zeroth index and green is pointing to the first index now what happened now once it has checked everything it found once then it is this part is moving to this second two means first index and this is now what happens once again i'm just uh, helping you out with this 
see here now what happens is now again there is a comparison this 2 is compared with 1 is 2 and 1 both are same not same okay fine this then if it is not same we have to increase right we have to increase j plus plus so it will go here again so third index now 2 and 4 both are same not same again it will go till 5 now 2 and 5 both are same not same now again 2 and 2 both are same absolutely both are same when both are same we have to give a break break means it will not go again because we found that there is a duplicate here now once this is done now loop will break and it will go to the outer loop now what outer loop will do now it will move the position towards second index 0 and 1 is done now again it will come here and then again it will start this j loop will start again from initial value but second like next element it is comparing always self it cannot compare right so that is the reason now again here this both are there now again what happens is this green one is comparing with one and four both are same not same is this five and one both are same not same two is same not same three is same not same so like this it is keep on going once it is done then what happens then it will again it will start from a next index so see here this red one is keep on moving one by one but this this one is comparing each and every iteration this one again this one with this one so what i can say here is yeah let me take a copy of this yes here yes here what i can say is this is my outer loop this is outer loop and this is inner loop outer loop or which is representing by i This is this is what it is my inner loop. This is inner loop. Inner loop. Okay. So this is how it happens. So whenever it is outer loop is moving one by one indexing, and this inner loop is checking whether it is same or not. If it is same, then it is breaking the loop. So now let's see, let's write a program. I hope you understood in this. So I'm just uh, accessing my Eclipse. Yeah. And then I created one package and the new class. And here I'm just giving a class name. Print duplicates. Duplicates. And this is first problem. So one. Now it is finish. Fine. This is okay. Now after this, what I need to do? Main main method. Yeah. Now once I have uh, got my main method, now I need to create one array. How to create an array? Just I'm giving a name as array. Arr, and then uh, box is equal to so i'm just giving a values here directly here only 3 2 1 3 comma 2 comma 1 4 5 2 4 comma 5 comma 2 3 4 7 9 3 4 7 9 3 comma 4 7 comma 9 okay so now this is what my array is array got created and the values also i kept the values also so total one two three four five six eight nine ten so what should be the output i should get like how many duplicate elements are there like just it is a two uh, two is repeating and also 
3 is also repeating. So 2 and 3, I should get the output. Now let's see what we can do. We have to run a loop. From where I need to start my i. i is what? This red one. So initially, where from when from where it is starting? So let me give this condition. Like let me position this here. Initially, it is starting from where? Zeroth index. Here it is zero. So i int i is equal to zero. Now i is less than up to where this is uh, this i should traverse up to the end up to the length right so we have something like arr dot length inbuilt okay now again it has to increment every time it is going here right zero again one again two so that is the reason we have written what increment that now that is done what is this this is for the red arrow this is red arrow so traversing one by one here here all the elements it is going to iterate on all this traverse now once that is done now we need to write a loop we have to write the same loop for what for my j for j means what for this a green one green arrow which is doing the comparison internally so let's see for uh, int j is equal to this is i'm not writing now j is less than it also has to traverse till n ar dot length and, and then we have to also increase j value also j indexing also now here what i said what from where this j has to start so whenever my red is on zero, J, this green should always be the next one. See here, if it is, if my red is on this, then the green should be starting from, if my red is on first index, green should be on second index. Similarly, if it is on third index, red is on third index means outer loop. The inner loop should be the next one. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, if it is starting from same, it means all things will be same only, right? That is the reason. So now here, what I can say here is J I plus one. So I plus one only right here. If it is zero, then it is what zero plus one. It is here. See. Now here, if I'm writing, so my I value is what two and then my J value is plus one. So just I'm adding just one plus one for increasing the index. Okay. From next element, we are going to compare from all this. Three is going to get compared with all this, not three itself. Okay. So now how we are going to do the comparison? We already know if condition, if ARR of I equal to equal to ARR of what? J. If this condition is true. Now what we need to do, we need to print the numbers. See, so now here, ARR of I, ARR of I, and then plus, and then some space. Okay. Now here, I am just removing this print LN. Uh, just LN, I'm removing only print because I wanted to get in a horizontal way. In the same line. Okay. Now this is our code. But now once I got it, uh, once I got my duplicate, do I need to proceed further? No, right? So what I can do, I can just apply a break. Break. That's it. Now let's see what is the output we are going to get. Okay. Four is also there, right? Okay. I forgot. So uh, what are the elements? Three, two, one, four. Yeah. So three, two, and four are repeating. So this is what the output we got. Now, for example, if I'm not doing here, I'm just starting from a zero only. So it means what this this is getting compared by itself itself. So let's see what is the output this time we are going to get. Will it be giving us right output? No, absolutely not. So it is giving us not exact output. Yeah. So it means always we are going to start with what next position from the next. So I plus one. Okay. Now this is going to help us. So this is what we have solved it. Now, for example, just 
remove i'm just removing the break and uh, i'm just increasing this one more element now let's see what happens so what happens here one element is fine but see here four many times but this is not our required what what is our required question is we have to get the what we have to get the duplicates what are the duplicates i wanted to print the duplicates that's it so once we have got that it is equal then that's it we have to apply the break so we have we have we are just coming coming out of this inner loop then again it is increasing okay so i hope you all understood this so that's it guys uh, if you have not understood this code like once again you watch it you will be understanding it yeah now this is done first question is done and uh, that's it guys thank you for watching and just wait for the next question very soon i'm going to post the next question also thank you for watching